All right, so if you guys are like longtime followers, you know that I would always do this when I was back home before we moved to Austin. I'd probably hang like this at least once a day. I'd start my day or I'd do it pre-workout and I got away from that habit. Now I'm doing it definitely pre-workout because I train three days per week and I'm doing it before every single workout. Just kind of getting that sp spinal decompression, letting gravity be in my favor for once. Uh, and so now I'm just letting myself kind of decompress a little bit and then I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio, uh, walking around the treadmill on the incline for about 10 minutes to warm up. And I'll take you guys through my mobility routine and then we'll hit the training session hard. All right, so we're gonna take you through my pre-workout mobility routine. It's pretty much the same as what I do to start my day. So whenever you guys wanted that from the last video, we're gonna give it to you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm really, I already warmed up on the treadmill on incline. I'm trying to now, since I'm warmed up, I'm gonna loosen up my hip flexors. I'm loosening up everything I'm gonna be working in today, today so I can get into really, really good positions. That's the biggest thing what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get into really good positions when I'm actually doing the exercise. So the first movement I'm gonna be doing is getting my hip flexors and my hips primed. So what I'm trying to do is keep a vertical shin angle here against the wall. And what I'm gonna do is bring my pelvis neutral and then I'm gonna sink forward and we should feel a large stretch right here in my hip flexor, deep in my hip flexor. Lean forward, so I'm bringing my rib cage down I'm leaning forward, I'm feeling it right in my hip flexor. Come back up. I'm gonna do five of those. So now I'm gonna come down on my hands. I'm gonna continue to loosen things up. Five. Now I'm gonna really, really try and open up my hips. I'm trying to get my elbow and drive it next to my heel. So now I'm gonna come back up, wrap my hand around my leg, come up, pull my chest up, really open up those hips. Now I'm focusing on breathing the whole time, so I'm not gonna hold my breath because that's gonna keep me, make me tighter. So I'm blowing, relaxing, trying to pull that chest up. Okay, so now my hand's gonna come back around. I'm gonna come all the way back up. Now I'm gonna reach up to my right. Then I'm gonna to reach to my left. And now, I'm gonna bring my foot all the way down right here. And what I'm focusing on doing is turning my hips neutral and then pulling my pelvis forward. So here, it's gonna really open up your hips. Good, now we're gonna switch sides. Remember the same thing as the other side. Really trying to get that hip flexor. Keep that neutral belly. So we're not gonna lose it and reach. We're trying to stay tight and just lead through the hips, target the hip flexor. So now down here on our hands, all fours. Now we're leaning forward, getting a little bit more hip involved. So now all the way down, forearms, elbows on the inside. Now, in around the inside, chest up. Good, come all the way back up. Reaching over one side. Reaching the other. Let that foot come down. And then trying to pull my hips neutral. Good. So now I come right out of that position. And I'm laying flat on my back. And now I'm gonna do some hip rotations. So I'm here, knee to my chest, open up my hip and I'm bringing all the way down, trying to touch the outside of my knee to the ground. Run that leg along the ground, come back up. I'm doing three of these. All the way down, run it all the way out. Good, last one. You're gonna hear me breathing throughout this whole time. Now switch legs. Open up, keep it next in. Good, 
Last one. So now we're gonna do some internal rotation. Foot over. So you can see I'm letting my leg come up and then I'm blowing out. Try not to let this hip rotate up. I'm gonna five on each side. Good. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay flat, arms out. You're gonna rotate side to side. You're trying to bring, I can't do it with this thing on the pocket. All right, so here's what we're doing. The hand, hands out to the side, just like this. Open up your hands. You're gonna bring your opposite foot to your opposite hand. Work on some rotation. Oof. 10 of those, two. Right. More. So you're really trying to focus, bring that foot toe all the way out there. Oof. Now we're gonna flip over and we're doing the same thing. Hands out here, but we're leading here. So now we're gonna do a downward dog. Okay, now we're gonna do a little drill, five reps for some overhead position. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna raise up our upper back as much as possible like somebody's pitching a tent, breathe in, and then you're gonna rock back. Come back up. Last one. So now we're gonna use this to warm up our upper body. Let's find somewhere above your body to attach this. So I'm just attaching it right here. It's gonna be more for our lats. And ideally this little this little mobility warm up should take 10 minutes. Okay, so we're here. So you can see my hand coming through like this. Then I'm grabbing the band like this. I'm walking backwards and I'm rotating up. So I'm trying to open up this whole side. So about five reps. So now, since I have really stiff ankles, especially on my right ankle, which hinders my squatting, so when I get to the bottom of the squat, I get more forward knee travel with this ankle naturally than this one, which leads me to shift because I hit end range of motion on this one. And the only way to get lower is by me shifting. So I have to make sure both ankles are getting the same amount of end range motion. So now I'm gonna do a banded distraction while stretching my ankles. So I'm gonna put this band right around my ankle. So I'm going, you see the two bones right here? I'm going just below it, just below it. So what this is band is gonna do is gonna pull my ankle back to the end, end of the, back in the joint capsule. And it's gonna allow me to really focus on just my Achilles and stretching out the back of my ankle. So I put it on top of this plate and what I'm focusing on doing, you see the band doing its work and I'm focusing on just slowly getting that knee, forward knee travel a little bit more. Because this forward knee travel is what's gonna keep me more upright in my squat. And you're gonna notice something with me, movement is everything. If I'm not moving well, then I need to reevaluate what's going on. If you don't move well, you're gonna end up hurting yourself or you're not gonna feel well. Now I'm really gonna focus on opening up my hips. Going side to side. You notice I'm, I'm here, I'm keeping my toes pretty much pointed forward. I'm just gonna really target the inside of our legs. I'm not gonna use any complex terms because I don't know how much you guys know anatomy. I'm just gonna point to areas that I'm really trying to work. 
So here I'm gonna go back to the side a few times. Now I'm gonna go back to this side, flip over my foot, flip over my foot. So now I'm gonna put my hands underneath me, flipping the toe to the ceiling, trying to keep this foot planted. Other side. In the beginning, this is a hard movement. You're gonna probably gonna have to keep your hands on the ground. But once you get better, you're able to get into this position without any hands and go side to side. This is called a Cossack squat. Really getting my hips warmed up. Go nice and control. Really control your bottom position. All right, so now we're gonna go back into a squat. We're gonna go 15 reps on the squat. Fifteen, good, and then we're gonna tuck her right on elbow under and rotate, 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 rotate. Grab underneath your toes, hips up, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boom, it's time to work out. All right, so now we're gonna actually go into the workout. Rico's gonna actually film clips of the workout, and we'll tell you exactly what we're doing, reps, sets, and everything. But if you guys want more of like an instructional workout like this, warm-up was let us know in the comments below and we'll make it happen